Hello everybody and happy Monday. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. Today we are going to talk about... Guys? Guys? Guys, what are you doing over there? It's time to do the video. I haven't even cleaned up the whole rest of the apartment. Just can you be in the camera, please? Okay, okay, good. Let's get started. Okay, so hi, everybody. I read a book called Ready Player One over the weekend, which was amazing. I'm going to do a review of it on my book channel next week, but I want to talk a little bit about it now. But the book is really engaging. It talks about 80s movies and video games and just what an immersive experience they can be. And I started to think about just how fun it is to get lost. Okay, I've really got to be more careful with this thing. No, I meant get lost in a book or a movie or game. One of the games mentioned in the book is Zork, which is an old style text adventure game. And those are really fun to get lost in, see? Your eyes slowly open to find yourself in a damp, dark prison cell. Exit cell? I don't understand the word cell. Um, exit. Are you sure you wish to quit? No, no, uh, look around. The cell is empty except for a small toilet and cot. The cell door to the north appears to be unlocked. Open door? In your weakened state, you barely manage to move the door. Finally, you manage to create just enough of a gap for you to get through. Go north. You are in a hallway lined with cells. They appear to be empty. There appears to be a door to the east. Go east. The glowering prison guard blocks your path. Punch guard. You aim a punch at the guard but it doesn't harm him. The guard throws a punch right at your head. You have died. Okay, maybe it's a good thing video games aren't completely immersive. Oh, geez, yeah, okay, no more using these powers. We'll just talk for the rest of the video. L let me fix this up. Okay, that's much better. Anyway, I find it really interesting that there are those books and movies where you feel really invested in the characters, but there's still that awareness that you're not there. You're observing them. You're not participating in the adventure. And that's one of the things I really like about games, including, and I'm not ashamed of this, tabletop games, because not only do you get to experience a new world, you get to interact with it. And certain video games are that way. World of Warcraft was certainly that way, the Half-Life games. And I'm sure for some people that write fan fiction, that's a way that they get to interact with a universe that they otherwise might not be a part of. So my question for you guys is where do you go when you really want to get lost? Is it a movie? Is it a video game? Is it a book? Let me know down in the comments. That's going to do it for me today. Have a fantastic Monday, and I will see you on Wednesday. First time on YouTube, yay! My name is Sean. You can just call me Sean. Lumberjack, an Irish guy. Through this channel, I hope to build a mime mental empire. You learn everything there is to know, except for being a mime or a clown.